Okay, so we have our basic file. We now need to put some stuff into this. We could create imagery directly using the different tools here, our brush tool, paintbrush tool, stamp tools, pen tool, text tool, put type, whatever. We also can bring imagery into this. So let's do that on this one. There, there are two basic ways to bring in imagery. One is to place the imagery right into the existing document. The other is to open up a different document and then take imagery from that document and place it into this document. We'll take a look at both of these. First off, let's just do the easy way. That's to place imagery into this open document. Click on place. And I have a bunch of pictures in here. A lot of ship related stuff as you can see inside of the pictures folder in the materials folder. This a, a wide variety. We'll use some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I'll just leave in here for you to play around with if you want to. Lots of imagery. If you go up one level into the basic materials folder in here, we have a lot of the basic projects we'll be looking at and working with a little later on. One of these this little barcode thing here. I just bring in just kind of a basic barcode if you want to. But let's go into the pictures folder and let's just do just a real simple thing. Let's just grab this, this boat, little black and white line drawing. Choose place. It then places that image right into your file. Now, when you're working in Photoshop, you can have multiple layers. Let's take a look at our layers over here. Click on the layers. I'm actually going to expand this. So I click on the little, little button right there, expand that out. Let's bring the swatches down so you can see all of our layers here. So the background, this is what we had when we first created our new file. And then this image comes in here as a new layer, as you can see. I'll click outside. Let's just click on this Move Tool first, choose Place to place it into the image. There it is. As it comes in here, this little icon right down there, that denotes that this is a smart object. We'll be talking about smart objects a little later on. I'll click outside just to make sure that nothing is selected. Let's place another image in here. Go up here to File, come down to Place. I'll just choose a water image. I think I have something a little bit better here. Let me see what I've got. That's okay. I'll just grab that one. Little JPEG file and Place. And notice how when you place a file in, it comes in centered originally and also it comes in as a new layer just like that. To get rid of this X, this is just kind of a positioning tool. I can now position this anywhere I want to until I'm happy with that. Then click on the Move tool and place that image. Once you have layers, of course, you can rearrange your layers any way you want to just like that. Resize imagery and so forth. Let's now take a look at opening up a different file. Let me just collapse this again. There we go. Opening up a different file and then bringing imagery in from that file. Give us a little more space over here. Okay, let's go up to File and Open. This just opened up. I have a cloud picture down here somewhere. There we go, a little bit of clouds. Choose Open. Opens up a new file. Let's take a look at our layers in here. Comes in as a background layer, as you can see. And I'm going to pull this tab down so that it's a floating file. There we go. Now I can take layers from this file and place them into or copy them to another open file. Just go to the Layers panel, grab the layer, drag it over like that onto the file you want to put it into, and then it copies it in as another layer. Let me just click over here. And notice right there, there it is, it's coming in at another, as another layer. So two basic ways of bringing in photos into a Photoshop file. One is to use the place command, file and place. The other one is to take one file and drag content from the one file, normally grab a layer from one file and drag it into the other file. So two different ways of bringing photos into Photoshop.